What is going on, everybody? Hey, welcome. It's been, it's, been, it's been a minute since we've done one of these. I'm telling you guys, it's been six months. Six, seven months. I told you guys I was going to be done from for a while. We're not really done. We're back at it. I'm going to tell you guys right now, this, this. You guys see that? If you guys are a freedom-loving American, which I'm probably sure most of you guys are if you're inside of here watching this video. If you're not, I'm sorry you're not from America. America's awesome. So if you guys want to grab one of these, it'll be linked at the very top of the description. Go ahead and use code LONKERS at checkout. Save yourself a bunch of cashola. That is a nice little beautiful NFG patch that is... Beautifully sewn on there. It is not going to come off. It's going to fit nice and snug on your head. I do like that. You can snag one of those at the very top of the description. I know yesterday was the 4th of July. I hope you guys did not drink too much, which I know some of you guys did and got way too sunburned. Probably should have had one of these hats. But if you want to snag one, there'll be linked at the very top of the description. It's nice. It's beautiful. It's succulent. If you love America, snag one because I'm an American. You probably are as well if you're watching this video. So it's been a while. All right. So we got a, I use the channel. Everybody knows this channel if you watch military footage. Funker 530. They've been on here for a hot minute. Everybody has sent their footage to them. I, for all you guys that are new, I've been I've been overseas a couple times. I had some fun, did my job, came back, and now I make these cringy ass videos that you are currently watching. So I've never watched any of these other than this uh, U.S. fighter jets battle UFOs over Afghanistan. 100%, it's not UFOs. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly. What, I'm gonna click on it right now. You know, this is just some guy that's sitting on a fob. He has no really probably idea what's going on. This was in 2011. I was actually there in 2012. So the year after me, he sees these things. He's like, oh my God, what are those things flying in the air? He's using he's using a crow system right now. You can punch in, you can change from white hot, black hot. You can do just about anything you want with it. And these, what you guys are looking at, oh my God, they're floating balloons, right? No, they're UFOs, they're air balloons. He has no clue what's going on. Oh my God, they're dripping from the sky. No, okay, those are actually, I wasn't there, but I'm telling you, they were flares. Fairly confident they're flares. Um, I know here in a second, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom. Okay, yeah, you'll see uh, here, it's about to happen. So look, here you go, and then you see, choo, 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 choo. there it goes. Boosh, boosh. And this guy's confused. This guy's sitting on the fob, wanting to tell mom and dad back home, I have been in the scene so much battle. He, he's trying to find these UFOs. He doesn't realize they're flares and they're just using them for target practice. There you go. If I was a gamble man, that's what I would say those are, but I'm not a gamble man. That's pretty, pretty positive. 10th Mountain Infantryman Ambushed by Taliban. All right, so I haven't seen this one. Uh, I spent a little bit of time fighting the, fighting the good fight of Taliban. It was really fun. So I, sometimes I do enjoy watching these videos. This guy's already out of breath, that's fairly certain. I feel like I've seen this. I've seen so many of these things. So I'm going to go, they, uh, they're doing that bounding thing. Start doing that bounding thing, I have seen this, because I, I have seen this, but so keep watching it. This guy's already out of breath. Were they already under contact prior? I wish we had better cameras back then too. Charlie, you ever watch these videos? Oh, you do? Looks like, so this is what you would call a, uh... I got one guy 100 meters to my one o'clock, probably a sheep herder, but he's wearing all black. Those damn sheep herders, you know. Oh, I've seen this video. Son of a I've seen this video. This is a good one. I'm gonna let it run, because I know a lot of people haven't seen this. So those buildings are called collots, for everybody who doesn't know. They're literally giant mud walls that are like 10, 15 foot high, somewhere in there. A bullet will not penetrate a collot wall, for sure. 50 cal, it doesn't matter what it is, it ain't gonna do that thing. RPGs will hit those things and I'll go through them. Oh! Salam. Oh! God, this is, the, this is the worst part right here. He knows it too. He's gotta cross this open area. Look at this open area. Yeah. 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 No one wants to do that shit, I'll tell you that much. He's like, ah, oh, here we go. His butthole's like this big right now. There it goes. I promise you it's about to happen right through here. This is it. They were set up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen this. This is pretty close. Boosh. It's pretty close. You guys are calm though. Come on, come on. Easy, easy. Mm. Yeah. Come on, boys, I need you. 
Get down. Get down. And he's pretty much doesn't know. I'm pretty positive he's got a 320, not a 203 on the front. Yeah, it's a 320. Yeah, 320. It's a grenade launcher, essentially. Well, they stopped putting them on the, the rifles themselves because they started bending the barrels. Alright, that's good. I mean, this is pretty close. I mean, this dude's launching that, that, that grenade like 50, 75 yards right in front of him. That's incoming, by the way. Who doesn't know? Man, I haven't watched one of these videos literally in six months. I enjoy this so much. Hold on. Oh my Eve's god, f*** you, Eve. Basically freedom. That's where we put one of your eyes. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you guys want to see any more of these, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll do another one. I'll do two a month or so. I just won't do them like I used to. Once a week was quite, quite a bit. If you guys 10,000 likes, 100%, I'll do some more. More cutter! More I'm going to try to make them long, though. So you can just enjoy it with me. Hey, who is that? Who's 320? That's fun. That's enemy 320. Uh, enemies don't have 320s. He's just super flustered, by the way. They have, uh, they do have grenade launchers. Open shot. There's no two. I'm the way. You gotta hit that f***ing arm. Where are they at? Let's make sure we don't forget our flags. Right and left. 50 meters. Don't forget our flags. He's not real worried about the camera right. angle here. Go high. Bring down, you gotta bring down, bring it down. Dog. God. Hold up, Age, you saw it? Hold up. Do a test, do a test. Love it. They're right on the other side of that, dude. Okay, we're we'll gonna quick pause here and just kind of scan forward. Because I as much as I would like to look at this guy's nether regions, I probably don't for the next three minutes. We're not gonna do that. These guys handle themselves pretty well out the gate. So if you guys are excited, we're gonna find some more of these as I move along. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a quick little pause. But well, you know what? I think there's gotta be a bunch here. Alright, what do we got hey, here? Get some shots out there! Hey! Get in the f***ing spot! Let's go! Start shooting! Move up! Here. Oh my god! What is going on here? Down. Oh... He still <laughs> just needs saw. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm gonna tell you right now, that thing is extremely ineffective. And I've, I personally, I think it's super ineffective in Afghanistan. The 5.56 five, is just an ineffective round. But that is pretty funny. This one's got a good name to it. Starts off with a dude holding an RPG. Send it. Oh, by the way, anybody over at YouTube watching this video, this is for historical stuff. Wow. Because I'm sure you guys are reviewing this video like you always do. God, I could just feel that the heat in that sand. Okay, you got friendlies. I don't want them to shoot. Keep control and make sure you let everybody know where you're at. Taliban. Taliban dead. This is a goofy. <laughs> I mean, this dude, this guy, he has no idea who he's a shoot guy. He just, I mean. I mean, who cares at that point? Hey, Roger, we have enemy pinned down here in the south. They keep trying to fire to maneuver out, break. We need to maneuver on them, or we need somebody else to maneuver on them. We have them pinned down to the south. They're gonna, it's in that little gray pipe down there. It's always a good feeling. This is where we're at right here. That's always, that's like the greatest feeling ever. Hey, you're right there, don't hey. fire, just hold up. Hey, if you need some remark with smoke? No, we got it. Okay. Hey. Always the best feeling. The real question is, who's the camera person that's out there with him? Now I'm thinking about it. Look at this dude, this little Afghan guy, his helmet's like this. He's just running. He has absolutely no idea what's going on. <laughs> I mean, his chin strap's like way out of here. <laughs> Helmet is basically non existent. Speeding ISIS truck ambushed at close range. I am interested in this one though. Follow me, follow me. Get out! Get back! 
Watching that again. Did you that? Did back. Did back. I have no idea what that guy's plan was there, but it was not not good at all. Not good at all. If that was high up on the list of his things to do that day, he probably should have reassessed the situation. That was not a good plan whatsoever. I have no idea what he was trying to accomplish there, but he definitely didn't accomplish it. So uh, don't worry. I gotta say this statement because I know that YouTube's, uh, they're gonna check this video. Uh, this is not to glorify war or any sense. I, I, I was fortunate enough to go uh, spend some time doing this. So I'm saying it in a historical way from my own point of view, because it's not an opinion. So it's real. You know what I mean, YouTube? Can't ding it if it's real, right? It's not an opinion. Follow the science, right? Okay, this one's 46 seconds. Never seen this one. Oh. Roger, we're up on personnel. Right now, it's about 250 to 300 meters up. I have actually seen this. I've seen the beginning half of this video and it's really long. So this guy right here, whoever this guy is, an exceptionally good leader. And see how he has his compass out? He's trying to get an azimuth. When you receive contact, you, you pull out your compass. Everybody always has a compass. You can have the Garmin's. We all had those on, but I mean, sometimes the batteries would go out or sometimes the, the magnet in the watch or the compass in the watch would get interfered with the rock. So you this thing always worked. And that's what he's doing right now. Four zero degrees, 300 meters out over. There you go, distance and direction, 40 degrees, 300 meters. I've, I've, I wish I could find, if I could find the beginning half of this video, it's actually really good. You can tell the difference between like a good leader on the ground and like a terrible leader. And this guy is pretty good, even though he didn't even, yeah, I mean, I noticed that when he laid his rifle down, he had a jam. I'll find the beginning half at some point. Uncovered footage from war in Afghanistan. This one's 43 minutes long. This could be my kind of video. Oh shit, that's high quality. Oh. Afghanistan. American special forces hard on the heels of what's left of Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. I love how the British always say Al-Qaeda. What's left of them? There's a f***ing one. God, that is thick. I don't think I haven't seen this one. That is some thick stuff. Yeah, I've never seen this video. Oh shit. God! I mean... See, they have air weapons team on station. Usually the Taliban won't even do anything. You, hear the, you can hear the air weapons team on station. They, they generally won't do a thing when they're on station. These trees all mowed down. I wonder if we. I wonder if we. A lot of times we put C4 on trees and we'll detonate trees to to chip them over just like this so we can see. Like if they're building like a little camp or something, which that's kind of what that looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Or this actually wasn't C4. This looks like. Let them blow. Let them blow. Oh, I can hear that. Aggie, give me some room. I was going to say, it kind of looks like a, a, a 500 pound or a J-Dam or something was dropped in that area, but none of the ground is scorched or nothing's wrong with it. So it looks like they're, they actually wrapped deck cord, not C4, deck cord around all the trees to knock them down. That's exactly what it is, I'm pretty, I think. I'm about 99% sure. Oh, man. This guy's in a weird spot. I'm not a big fan of this spot. He has literally absolutely no cover whatsoever. I also don't think he's being shot at too much. Acosta said he saw people, sir. Hey, sir! Sir, sir, good job! Oh my god! Damn it, dude. All right, I'm gonna click on this one right here because I was there in 2012, and it was a pretty it was a pretty fun year for baseball. 
But it was, it was, what is going on here? Can we just not have music? Okay, not a lot of you guys have experienced this. Just cruising in a Blackhawk. I actually got a pretty funny story about, well, it's not a funny story, but about Blackhawks. I mean, it would make you laugh if you have some sense of humor, but I don't know. I had a guy, a brand new guy, never been in a firefight before him. And we got called up to be Q. We were QRF for the other half of the SEAL team while they were out. They were doing some operation. It didn't really matter. But they need to refit it on grenades and stuff like that. We land in the helicopter. We all get out. And the LT turns around and said, you need to leave one guy back. So I left the most junior guy back, which was him. And his job was to load all the body bags onto the uh, Blackhawk. And then he had to go sit on them for two days. It wasn't American dead people. Oh, minigun. I have no idea what this guy could be shooting at here. Is target practice maybe? I have no idea. But anyway, that's what a minigun looks like. From, from, the, from the sky, it's what it looks like. But from the ground, and if it's kind of like, kind of slightly dark out, like the sun's going down, it kind of looks like molten lava flying out of the, just flying out of the sky. It's kind of crazy looking. I'm just going to scan forward real quick. This is a 20 some minute long video. These guys land. Yeah, that looks fun. That guy right there just did the absolute roll of a lifetime. Hits the old buttocks and then rolls and then lays down because he's got all the damn gear. It's, it's easier to fall down wearing that 70 pounds of gear just flop down than it is to like slowly lower your, so you just say fuck it and just full send to the ground like you just did. Hey, they, they fucking up the gameplay. All right. Yeah. Here. I know. Are you still got him on that same spot? I'm here something. These guys took over somebody's palat. They probably bought it from them or it was empty or something. Now it's turned into the patrol base or little camp or something. Hey, -oh. hey you guys got eyes on anything? He's trying to get Man. Okay. Yeah. It's coming from this way too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last shooting. And we got fires to the north. Yeah, it's gonna be northwest. This kind of firefight that they're in right now is not. I mean, we had one of these probably two a day for the last like three months or so. One a day for sure. But the beginning, it came beginning from we, over here. when we first got there, it probably happened twice a day for about three weeks. This is just something that happens at evening and sunrise pretty much like every day. No one wants to fight when it's hot as hell. They don't, they don't want to go there. This thing is a long video. Like, there's something crazy happening here. This is just them just getting attacked where they sleep. I promise you. That's all this is. Down there on the left-hand side, you guys can see they got a... Uh, that's a sniper. That's actually exactly what that is. That dude's a sniper on the far left. He's had a spotting scope out just kind of out on the far left-hand side. But you can't see him right now. That guy right, nope, not there. Yeah! Hey, right here! Right here! What? That, that guy right there that he's looking at, that's... White car! White car! Do a white vehicle! Hey, hey, hey! Here! I got him! And he's got a Barrett. Does he? Is that a Barrett? Right there! Yeah. He's got his damn Barrett on the roof. I haven't heard him shoot it. Hey, direct shit to the vehicle. This is the direct vehicle. Okay, so remember what I was telling earlier when the guy, I, I remember I told you guys like distance direction is the most important thing like for leadership and this guy cannot get a fucking grip on what's going on in the situation whatsoever. Like yelling doesn't really like, we get it you're in charge, but yelling doesn't usually help any situation. I promise you guys that. And this is not that intense, I promise you. Hey, engage that fing white vehicle, let's go! <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is fing goofy. Let's go! They should, they said this like, how many minutes ago, three minutes ago, and the guy still hasn't shot the white car up? The, the sniper, I guess maybe he can't see, but I mean, if, if you have a clear to engage a white vehicle, and you have, we would, we would, 
on the roof, we would have legitimately six to 800 rounds linked together in a belt like this. I wish I had, I do have photos somewhere of it, but it'd be like a link, the clot wall on top, sandbags, and it'd be like six or 800 rounds linked all like this. And you would just, you'd literally go until it's done, and then you'd have an ammo runner just bringing you ammo up and down and up and down that we would have sent by this point we would have sent probably 50 to 60 thousand rounds maybe not that many rounds probably like 20 thousand yeah maybe i don't know a lot <laughs> hey watch it shoot watch it shoot oh hey never mind just regard three five golf way to go buddy I love how the sniper has not shot a single round and he has sat there with his binoculars the entire time. That's like the worst part about the job. A lot of people think you just sit there and shoot all day. This dude's got a barret. He doesn't want to shoot that son of a bitch. It hurts. You know what he's going to do? He's going to look through his little binos. He's going to, hey guys, they're running. Here they go. He's just going to tell them, but I, and I guess he doesn't want to do that either. These guys are, I hope you're not watching my video. But I can tell you guys are pretty new at this. 16th involved. How you got friendly motors inbound? This guy yells a lot. This guy, probably pretty new at, the, at that point to firefights and maybe he was just really scary as shit. But yelling, oh shit, there's me. Twice. Yelling doesn't really get you very far. And you could tell the difference. The dudes are like, all right, 200 meters west. And then they shoot an azimuth and he's like, all right. This guy was just wanting everybody to know he was in charge. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Looking at a claw wall though, I'll tell you that much. Okay. I'm clipping that. Yeah, I'm clipping. Hey. What happened? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. That's right by me. Yeah, that's right yeah. in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least he has good trigger and just blinked and didn't shoot his guys, but yeah, that, those rounds hit right next to his face. Yeah, that was it. Good job. There's your Matt Young. There's your close call, buddy. US, this is intense, is what this one says. <laughs> sniper. This guy's a sniper. That's an M110. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sorry to be deposited. This guy can't run by and just scream and enjoying life, it looks like. I feel like a lot of times they have nothing else to do there but fight. Because there's nothing there. There's a lot of natural resources. Look at those tracer rounds going off in the distance. See those red? Yeah, look at those tracer rounds. This is not a bad one. See, now these guys understand what they're doing. Much better than the one that you guys saw earlier. See how calm these guys are? No one is yelling. Do you hear anybody yelling? These guys are literally having a conversation about where it's coming from. But these guys, you can tell they've been doing this a little while. That guy had a sector sketch of what was going on. God damn. Hey. That is not a 110, by the way. I thought it was a 110, but that maybe this is gonna be a different guy. Yeah, this is a different. This is a different guy. Okay. Yeah, that, the other guy had a 110 for sure because he was shooting it rapid. This guy's got a 300, maybe. I have no idea which which, which rifle that is. See, there's a 110 right there. Yeah. See, there's a 110. I knew I saw a guy with a 110. It said Marines, but that's the Army guys. Where, where I was, we didn't have this many rock. That's way right now. See how much rock there is there? Not, hey, not that far. Hey, come between uh, right peak and right here, bro. Like, in... See, like, see how this guy's having a conversation? Shoot, pull up, shoot, pull up, pull up. Oh, okay, this is cool. So now you get to see from, from, from there. Oh. Heads up. So right there, right there. I this is, this is, I wish they were all like this. You get to see one dude's got a camera going on one side. I can tell they're just taking control of this ridge line. I would assume they're probably just that's all this is for. Jeez Louise, they had cameras on everybody. This is good. Right side. We got one enemy over here. Oh, so 
I don't know who this is, but I would like to know. I'm trying to find out who it is. 101st, maybe? Uh, yeah, it. it is. Look how calm these guys are. Those are the best. Those are the best. I wish they would show it. Those are the best. That was a good one. See? That one was good. And that's from 2014. I've never even seen that one. That's a good one. Now, the noise, so it's actually, it's a machine, but it's actually, you know those, it's 30 mic mic round. It's the same cartridge. You see the ones that are loading the, the single shot at the beginning, the grenade launchers? That's what it's shooting. It's shooting shells that are like this big, grenades that are like this, but it's going That's what it's actually shooting out of it. Now I gotta pull it up. Oh, there we go. There's an extra shiner bottle. It is like this much taller than a Coors Light bottle. It's, it's probably this tall. There you go. Right, that's what's coming out. Imagine rounds about this big with the, the cartridge, the shell itself, like the projectile is like this big. I mean, it, it is like, it'll put within two seconds, it'll put around 150 of those rounds on target. And then the guy was, I would just, I just read really fast, but it said, if they shoot that thing for longer than three seconds, they can feel the airplane actually slowing down from it pushing it back. I know that when they would get like the, the AC 130s up there, they'll shoot the 105s. I've only seen it one time in my entire life at night. I shoot the 105s and you would, it would be pitch black out and then it was like sun. And then Yeah, the 105s was nuts. That was a pretty good one. That one was actually not that bad. All right, what we got here? Why did he tell me to get off the wall? I have no idea why he just told me to get off the wall. Why did he tell me to get off the wall? That's all incoming, by the way, just so you guys know. Like AK fire. I was like, I can get on the like, incoming. It's not, not very accurate. It's the second ID. They're being, I don't know what's going on here, but it's clearly not very effective because you got some guys that are like just standing around. Oh, it's because they're standing behind a giant house. That's why they're literally standing there doing nothing. God, they're so clustered together. Like, they're so clustered together. This dude with an RPG look, he's just chilling out there, staying out there all by himself. Like, yo, look at me, everybody's like, oh, get the f away! <laughs> I mean, this dude's just standing, there's this... That's why they just all ran out of the way. Oh God, I love it. <laughs> oh, shit, they just made my day. Oh, I haven't seen this one. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that was, that was good. It just, that made it, that made it worth it for me. That was good. Come on, you okay? The best part of our firefight was the guy flagging him with an RPG. That was, that was pretty funny. Yeah, this just seems like the, the normal, typical shoot a couple shots at them and then they just run away. No one, no one really wants to advance on them because they don't really exactly know where they're at. I've done this drill on them how many times. I could just smell that sewer water stuff right there. I could just, I could just smell it right now. That little... What you would think right there, that guy standing next to would be like a creek, but that's where all the shit water goes into. And like what these guys should probably be doing is, if it was me, I don't know what the f they're doing. Maybe bound forward a little bit. What are we doing? This guy's just sitting down there fucking prepping an RPG head just like, look at him, he's sitting literally in the middle. Hey, look at me, I got an RPG. Look, he's running back at him now. There it goes. And just send it. This guy comes out as berets like this. He's like, that thing hit hard as hell. <laughs> the main reason why they shoot those RPGs is they're tired of carrying the rounds around. They're like, I'm gonna offload these rounds so I don't have to carry them for the next 10 miles. Are we done? Are we done with this firefight? Because you guys aren't doing 
On to the next one. Yeah, down across the river. No, to the left, to your left. Right out that way. That was the most confusing f***ing directions ever. Where do you want me to shoot? Anywhere. No, 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 that way. Off to the left. Down the river. Off to the left. All right, I guess. I'm just gonna send it. It's always so ironic to me in the regular army. The guys that carry the machine guns are always like the lowest level. Like, what the f*** is this guy doing? Is, is the lowest level guy. Like the new guy. Here, f*** you dude. Here's the, the, the biggest, most baddest gun we got. You get to carry the f*** around because it's too heavy and I don't want to carry this something. That's pretty much the mentality. But then when you get it out there, this guy gets to have the most fun. I want a 203 right around the corner over here. I want a 203. Get that 203. I want cover the fire. I'll let you know when. Ready? Where am I shooting? Up the road, up the road, up the river. Ready? Go. I'm excited. Go. 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 Oh, these guys got knee pads on. That tells me a lot right there. I don't want to sound rude, but if you got those big ass bulky knee pads on, you haven't walked very far. Far. If you thought that you've had any kind of monkey butt or you thought you've had maybe diaper rash when you were a kid, no, you have not. Not until you put one of those big knee pads on and then just chafes you right here with a bunch of heat rash and then just tears you up in the back. Right there. That's how you know. Instantly you'll know that these some bitches have never walked more than like look at those things. You don't wear those. No one wears those things. I would rather take a knee to a rock to, to be more mobile. It's probably some don't have PT belt on. Run around fucking big bright yellow belts just like, yo look at me motherfuckers, I'm here. I'm actually enjoying these ones more than I was the other ones that are actually real. There's some good ones on this internet. I haven't, I haven't shown you guys them yet. I haven't been able to find them yet. Oh, here he goes. They're doing it again. They're running around the corner. Send it! Oh. Not a huge fan of that, what just happened right there. Not gonna pretend like I'm not. What the what are they doing? So right now, they can tell they don't use radios too often. They got a guy that's next to him, clearly in a leadership position, trying to talk on the radio when one of the squad leaders or team leaders has his radio up too high and it's talking to, you know what I mean? You, you just grab it, you go, turn it down just a tad. You wouldn't be surprised they had casualties. I will say, there was a lot of radio issues in Afghanistan. I've been in one, one terrible situation with the terrible radios. In a bad situation with no radio, and I could see the people. But, see how they're cow cowering in this little corner here? God dang it. That's not the way to do it. This dude is scooting though. We're on a different one now, by the way. This guy knows what he's doing. So they set the 240 up in the right spot. 240 is actually gonna be this is the best machine gun I think ever made. One of the best ones ever made. Then they came out with a even better one, which is the 48, smaller version that you can actually carry. Christy, how many rounds do you got fired? Uh, hey, slow it down. Slow it down. Sorry for the opportunity, all right? Slow it down. Okay. And that's how long we're gonna be out here, all right? See? Good leadership. You hear him? How many rounds you fired? 200. Slow it the f down. How many you got left? It's probably got 400. Probably got 600 left, maybe. Pull it out so others can see. See? This. It's good. It's calm. Matter of fact, that same situation I was talking about where I had bad radio comms, that was the first time I went black on ammo. Well, almost. I had like 10 rounds left. Like, that sucked. We actually had to call in air support to get us out of there because we had we did not have enough ammunition ammunition for our egress back. All right, so I, I'm gonna back it up just a second because I just went on a, like a, a little bit of a mind, I was just mind myself between the words egress and regress. God, it looks hot. What's that? No. So that guy's got a, he's got HEDP. See the gold tops? They're all different around us and you can feel them with your hands. See like, he has like smoke and everything else. You can feel them, they're different. So at night you can tell the difference. Hey, these guys are, look at them. I like this guy. I wish I could watch all his, his entire. Casey, not too far. See, look. Not much going on. This is good. This guy's coming over hot as shit, worn out, done. He's over it. I love when you have competent people having a conversation about shit to do. Hey, sir. 
We got better cover if we're going to maneuver right here. What's up? We got better cover right here if we're going to maneuver on these. Alright. And I already got a team right. position watching. Alright, get some better over there. Alright. See? Fucking great. Look at this. Great fucking leadership. LT comes over. Hey, tell my 240 team to link up with Jones. My bag's over there too. Alright, those two. See, this is why we're to join the military. Come with me, I got you covered. Look at these guys. Actually, you don't get stuck with good leadership all the time. But you had a guy come over, fing LT, listen to the squad leader. Squad squeaker's like, no, listen here, fing LT. We're better going this way than running fing back that way. Well, guess what he did? You're right. You're fing right. You are, f I love it. All right, so you have the guy up front. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here because I can see that thing that he's got coming off is actually not a radio antenna. How do I want to put this? It somehow blocks radio waves so you cannot call in off a cell phone and detonate a bomb. There you go. But it does not stop bullets, as you clearly can just tell right there. That is an interpreter who is confused as shit was asked to what just happened. And now he's like, I ain't that bad, boys. I have no idea what in the actual hell is, what just happened here. It sounded like a shot came through through them, but no one moved. This guy's a minesweeper. Yeah, I don't know. That was really weird. Now they're having to deal with the situation. All these guys came walking through here, but I'm sitting here on a computer and I knew the round came from that area. But how did none of these some knew that the round came from that side? And now they're now they're initiating going that way. Combat footage, U.S. patrol ambushed in Afghanistan. This is not a very good ambush video. This guy's sitting there walking in the water like, my life sucks. Well, I'm getting paid nothing right now to do this. I give him props. I mean, he's not sitting there wasting ammo. CNN reporter caught in firefight. Oh, this one is a good one. I'm gonna say that a lot of people haven't seen this one. I've seen this one three times and it's still really good. For everybody who hasn't seen this one, this is another very good example of fine leadership. For all you guys who have seen this one with me, just wait a second, because, I mean, it's really good. It starts off a little slow. Okay. I can fully, I can say this, I have never been in a situation in my entire life where I'm fighting in trees like this. This does not look very pleasant. At least you know there's no snakes or anything. Well, I guess there is some weird, but nothing that'll kill you. I guess it's like the last thing to worry about the damn snake. Okay, you see the tracer rounds going. So, you guys are gonna find out here in a second why I, I think this one's such a good one. I don't know why I'm turning my head like it's gonna change the angle of the camera. But they, we need y'all to move up along the river and give us some support. Alright, is anybody hit? They took contact from very, very, very close, which they're still receiving contact clearly from really close. Oh yeah, there you go. He starts to pick up, but it's really not that bad. He's gonna go check on his guys like he's supposed to. Ooh, man. I always think this, this one, I don't know why I always, I've reverted back to this one. This is the one, one of the ones I was actually looking for. Dude is fucking crawling by the way. That's why it looks like that. He is not like on his hands and knees. He is fucking crawling through the fucking trees. Pretty severely. I was trying to move up this way. Got a guy down here though. RPGs and shit. 
Whatever I'm listening to these things, whenever I'm in conversations now, like doing business and, and whatnot, like and having conversations with like a normal crowd of people, I realize why I talk the way I talk. One seven is one six. If you can get them on that tree line over there, sir, have them aiming this way, we'll get this way. We'll have an L shaped ambush going. You good, man? All right. Hey, Once again, squad leader, tell the LT what to do. LT is now going to go tell. Everybody else. All right. This is. I like. I like this. I've always. If you're looking for leadership in your life, this is a good video just to revert back to. Along with that last one as well, I guess. Right. Now. Hey, one one. Come on, one one. I just called the LT. I got them moving to this wood line. To our six, or to our two or three. They're gonna take that wood line and start. It kind of actually now looking back, it kind of seems like there's two elements. I don't know, I could be wrong though. God, dude. I mean, this dude is crawling through these fucking trees. It looks so unpleasant. Uh, yeah, good. I'm almost blacked on ammo though. I told him to get in that fucking tree line to R2 and suppress. Good. I'm moving. Hey. God, I couldn't tell you. I like felt him just go across that little dugout, little uh, irrigation dish right there. I couldn't tell you how many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those. I have done that same little long step and then hit and then walk. So I know I've, I've seen this one a few times. That, that's just a good. That's just a good one in general because the guy handles it pretty situation really really well I guess we'll do one more failed cash in transit heist because driver has been this is in broad daylight this is why you don't defund the police I guess huh Oh my god, there's a there's another dash cam footage of this. Dude, I have not seen this footage. This is crazy. It's clearly not America. Yeah, it sounds like South Africa or something. I don't know where it's at. Accent. Oh shit! That's why I gotta rewind that. So in that thing, I didn't realize what he was trying to do. He was trying to run him over. The shooters, they stopped in the middle of the highway, opened the doors and got out. And he was trying, he tried to run him over. It does look like it's in like South Africa, you're right. Wow, that's pretty cool actually, I ain't gonna lie. All right, well if you guys did enjoy those, let me know. I can go back and try to find some more. I can do them too often. I guess I can do them, like I said, maybe once every couple weeks or once a month, I don't really know. If you guys do like them, please let me know in the comment section down below. I love you guys. Please roll that sweet, succulent mother jerkinacho. I'll see y'all later. Holy...